Okay, so let's talk about quantum theory. So this is a pretty common problem that you might see in some exams or any other quantum, quantum scenarios. So basically, the wave function for a quantum particle is given by psi x equals ax. That's our wave function equation. Between x equals zero and x equals one, and elsewhere where our wave function equals zero. So, what we're trying to do first of all is find the value of the normalization constant A, and that's this guy up here. So, to start with, what we have to do is we actually have to talk about this guy. The normalization condition. This is not a very good marker, it's running out, normalization condition, let's change, basically the normalization condition says that between the values, negative infinity and infinity, the absolute value of our wave equation squared equals 1, so this is our starting point, so that's our normalization condition, now from here what we have to do is, is we actually have to integrate. So we are going between the values x equals 0 and x equals 1. Right? Okay, great. So now let's plug in the, the actual wave equation function, which is also Now, let's plug all these values into our normalization condition equation. So, between the values of 0 and 1, our wave equation squared, absolute value of our waves, wave equation squared, equals 1. Great. Okay. So now what do we do? We have to integrate. So, first of all, we take the constant in front of our integral. You can actually get rid of this guy, because absolute always means positive, and then we have to square both values and bring it to the front. So obviously this guy, he's out here, and then this guy, he's here, equals one. Cool. We're halfway there question a anyway so now what we do is we integrate so a squared between the values 0 and 1 equals 1 cool making sense now what we do a squared plug in our values and determine the integral minus 0 minus 3 minus 1 a squared times 1 over 3 equals 1 therefore a equals you can tell me what this is quite easy so we bring uh, why don't I slow it down? I'll do it one step at a time. Equals 1. Therefore, a squared equals 3. And a equals square root 3. So that's our constant a.